Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about the VLOOKUP function, but specifically using VBA. For those of you not familiar though with the VLOOKUP option, all that is is looking up a value inside a table based on the string that you give it, and it returns a specific column number from that table. So in this case I'll give you the example. I'm looking for item number 12019. It looks at this table. Wherever it finds 12019, it's going to give me column 3 from the table AG. So to show you that setup, column 3 from 1 to 0, 1, 9, it's going to be A, B, C. This is the third column and that's the value that we get right here. So to write the function all I did was write inside cell M5 I wrote equals VLOOKUP. I'm looking for the value L5 which is the value that's entered right here in L5. I'm looking at table AG going from columns A to G, not necessarily a table, but the table array. We're looking from A to G, looking for column three, and then this parameter, range lookup, here you put if it's an exact match or if you want an approximate match. In this case, I'm doing false, which means it's gonna be an, an exact match. So now, if I enter one, two, zero, five, three, and hit enter, I'm going to get this description right here as it pertains to 12053 and this is column 3. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to use and write this function in VBA programming. So all, I, all you have to do is go to your Visual Basic environment and go to insert module and then here I have a blank module. Here I can just write sub v lookup test and then just hit uh, do open parentheses close parentheses and then enter you'll automatically get an end sub and I have some code that's already placed over here and I'm just going to copy from my other module and I'm just going to paste it. This line right here is what's going to give you the VLOOKUP but first I do the value is equal to and I'm just creating a variable that says worksheets I'm getting sheet 1 and I'm looking at range L5 that's going to be my initial variable and this is what I'm going to use inside the VLOOKUP function. And all I do is do message box, and here's the string that you're gonna that you're gonna want right here. String and function. It's gonna be application dot worksheet function dot VLOOKUP. Then you do an open parentheses, and you'll see you'll have the same arguments that you do inside of the workbook, but things have to be written a little bit differently. Here I have the value which is the variable that we established up at the top. The range, you have to write out the, the entire range as to where it's located. So we're looking at worksheets, sheet one, that's just the caption of your sheet, dot range, and we're looking at A to G. So this is the entire table. We wanted to return column three, and then we're still gonna keep this as false to give us an exact match. So now if I go to, if I toggle back to my, to my Excel environment and do macros and run the VLOOKUP test, now we get the same string that's right here in, M5, in M5 and that's going to be what's in the third column. This can be written in a different way. Instead of putting the value right here, let's just say that you have your own string in your own project. Uh, let's say we still want to look for 12053. You're just going to type this in as 12053, not using double quotes. And I can just erase this. And if I run the same macro, VLOOKUP test, run, we'll still get the same information back. Just to do one more test, let's say I do 12019, 12019, and just hit F5. We'll get, that, we'll get the string for 12019, what's in column C. That's, that says blueberry muffin scented candle. If we look at that string, that's exactly what we have in the third column for 12019. So that's really all you have to do to use the VLOOKUP function in VBA. I mean, you can, of course, assign this. You can put a variable to this if you want. You can say the result is equal to, and then you can just do message box, the result, just showing you how to assign it to a variable. And that's all you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.